Good morning. Today we are going to be covering how to upload and distribute your report using your HomeGage services. This allows you to store the report off your computer and even track when your customer views the document. So once you've completed your report, you need to be sure that you create a username for your customer. So right now I'm on the customer page and I've entered my customer's name and email. We always want to be sure that the email is correct, so double check your spelling. And every email on this page should belong to this specific person. You should not incorporate anyone else's email here. If you have a second customer, like a spouse or a business partner, please use the Add Customer feature at the top right, which will give you a clean second customer page where you can incorporate the second person's information. So now that I've added the email address, I need to create a username. I'm going to click Create HG Username down here, and it's going to prompt me to make up a username. I'm not going to type anything in there. You can if you want to, but because you've put an email address in there, when you click OK from this screen, it'll search our database on the chance that this person already has a customer account with us. And if they don't, it'll just create a username for them based on their first and last name. So I just clicked OK, and now it says that the customer's account has been created. And you'll notice down here that there's a customer username here. This is the information your customer will use to access the report. Now, if you have a realtor you'd like to add as well, on the left-hand side, you would click on Report Info. If your realtor is already in your contacts list, you can access their information by clicking on contacts over here on the right and finding them in your list. Once you see them in the list, you can click on their name and then use the add from reps list button to incorporate them in this particular report. I'm actually going to create a rep account from scratch so you can see how to add someone new. Over here on the right, I'm going to use this little icon at the top that has a, white, a guy in a white shirt with a green plus sign. This means I need to add someone to my contacts list. In here, there's no information, obviously, so I need to type in my realtor's information. If I want to, I can incorporate their company info and all that type of thing. I've also left this little option at the bottom selected, indicating that this person is a rep, not a customer, because reps and customers have different administrative and, and access permissions. The customer can access more information than the realtor. For example, the realtor or a rep cannot agree to the agreement. Only your customer can agree to an online click agreement. Now, on the second tab here, it says HG username. In order to create a username for the realtor, I need to click there. And I'll type in the realtor's information here. I want to check it and double check it to be sure I didn't make a typo. And I want to reinforce the fact that all of these email slots should only have emails that belong to this person. They shouldn't have other people's email addresses in here. This is important. So I'm going to click Create Username. And when I do that, it will create a username for my realtor. It will prompt me to make one up, but the chances are a realtor probably already has an account with us. So you just want to leave the fields blank. Leave it blank. It's going to read from our database based on that email address. And we'll say OK. Now it says that they've created an account. Here's the username for the realtor. And once I say OK, the realtor's name will show up on the right in my contacts list so that I can use it again later. But now that I've added them to my contacts list, the name is highlighted, and I'm just going to click Add from Reps List in the middle of the screen. If you don't create these usernames, you won't be, have anyone to distribute the report to. So you need to incorporate this stuff. Here's our, here's our rep. 
Okay, a rep does not have to be a realtor. A real estate professional could be an attorney, could be an insurance agent, anybody or title agent, anyone who is sort of on the business end of the transaction, who's not your customer. So now I've created a username and password for both my customer and my realtor, and I'm ready to upload my report. So at the top of the screen, number one, I have to be sure that I'm logged in to my HomeGage services. This is a paid service through HomeGage. It is optional, but it is probably one of our most popular um, products. If I click on HG services, the very first option is enter inspector HG username. I need to be logged in so that my HomeGage software, where we're working now, it lives on, our, on the computer, I need it to communicate with my HomeGage services, which is on the internet. I've put my username and password in, and I'm indicating that it should always remember my password so it won't prompt me all the time. Now I'll say OK. It's validated my password because I'm on the internet and I had the right information in there. And now I want to go to Upload at the very top of the screen. So you have several options up here. The Upload button traditionally has a circle with an arrow pointing up, and when I click on that, uh, it's telling me I haven't answered all my questions. So I could go through if I want to answer all of them. Typically you'll know um, what you haven't answered, but I'm just going to say yes to continue. If you click no, you can navigate through your report to find your unanswered items. So now in my print options, I have full report for upload or print with pictures. In this screen, when you're uploading, what matters is the check marks. It does not matter what is highlighted. The highlights are for something else. So currently, I have my full report for upload or print with pictures. And that's the option that I'm going to use to upload my report. I'm just going to click OK at the bottom. And now it's going to show me a preview of my report. Obviously, you should review your report. Even if you, you didn't get the message that um, you had unanswered items, you always want to look at it and make sure it looks the way you expect it to look. I've got several videos and that type of thing through here. Once I go through and I determine that my report looks good and this is what I want to distribute to my customer, at the bottom of the screen, there's a button that says Upload right down here. I'm going to click that button, and when I do that, my HomeGage software that lives on my computer is going to try and communicate with the internet. And as long as I have an internet connection and active HomeGage services, that should be successful. So I'm going to click Upload. And there it goes. It's kind of reading all my data. And in just a second, it's going to ask me if I want to send report notification emails, which I do. So let's wait for that to be done. This happens, the speed of this happens based on how large your report is and how strong your internet connection is. <clears throat> so now that I'm ready to upload and distribute my report, I'm going to say yes here. When I do that, it is not going to send my report. I still have to send it. But it will open my internet browser. So immediately, you'll see here, I'm going to move this a little bit. What's going on back here where I entered all of my information, this is the on my computer. This is a program on my computer. But this down here that opened in that subscreen, this is my internet. This is my browser. And I've just uploaded a copy of the report, a copy, from my computer to the internet so I can send it to my customer. And here's my report. So you can see that I haven't done anything with it. At this point, I'm just storing it on my HomeGage dashboard. And I haven't sent it to anyone, and I haven't allowed anyone to view it. Here's my customer, and here's my realtor. I can tell the difference because the customer has a little blue shirt and the realtor has a little white shirt. The rep has a white shirt. So right now, I need to send my report notification emails. So I'm going to come up here and click Send Emails. When I do that, it's bringing me to a page showing that I have a document that I can send to either one or both of these people. Over here, under the Send Email column, you'll notice that these are automatically checked off. This means that wherever there's a check mark in this column, that person is going to get an email regarding accessing this report. If for some reason I didn't want to send this to my, my rep, I could uncheck this and still send it to my customer. The other thing you'll notice is the column under view. View means you have to give them permission to view the document. Right now it's your document. 
and you only want people who have permission from you to view it. So if I want the customer to be able to view it, I need to check off this box. If I want the realtor to be able to view it, I need to check off this box. Or I can just use the button that says all, and it'll give everyone in the list permission to view the document. As soon as I give everyone viewing permissions, you'll notice that that pink hue disappeared because the pink or the reddish hue there is trying to indicate that something needs to be done. So right now, I'm ready to send this if I wanted to. But if I wanted to give the customer permission to forward the document in a specific way that can sort of be tracked, as opposed to just sharing their username and password, I want to check off these box, this box right here. You may not do that automatically for the realtor. Traditionally, people look for permission from their customer as to whether or not they want to give the realtor forwarding permissions. Uh, I'm going to leave those blank today. So right now, I have given my customer viewing permissions. I have um, made sure that the checkboxes are there so that everyone involved gets an email. And now I can just click send emails if I want to, but let me show you what this document, this little email looks like. So here is my logo, and it has some funky little code in here. You don't want to remove that because this is smart code. It really knows what to do. It's going to read your customer's information, and when you hit send, it's going to put your customer's name in there. It is also going to put your customer's username and password in here. This is not your customer's username and password. It's just code so that the information that was created, when you clicked create customer username, that it knows that information. It's just not going to include it here right now. When the email gets sent out, it does include it. Same thing goes for your realtor or your rep. Down here is the rep email. Pretty much the same content, okay? So you generally wouldn't change anything on the fly. If you wanted to make a little note personalized for this one email, you could do that. So I'm just going to click at the bottom of the page, Send Emails. It brings me to my time release messaging page. There's another webinar on this. I'm not going to cover that today. But on the right, there's an option that says My Reports. Or I can just click on All Reports over here, and it will navigate me back to that Reports page. And here I am. Now I can tell that I have sent this report to both the customer and the realtor, and I have allowed them to view it. So if we want to right now, we can actually log in like the customer and view the document, and you can see that the document has been viewed. Actually, I'm going to, let's see what I can do here. I'm going to go in and log in as the customer. So when the customer gets the email, they can, they'll be brought to a page that's customized for you. But I'm just going to log in here just for convenience. So you can see what happens when they log in successfully. And here's my document. If they had inspections from other uh, home gauge inspectors or maybe from you, they'll see all the documents here. I'm going to click View Documents. Here's the cover page. I'm going to click on Inspection Report. And now they can see the document. This is the customer viewing the document. If they wanted to, they could click on the cover page picture. It will give them a high definition, large picture of the cover page. If they wanted to play the video, that's, in, that's like a span of the neighbor, a scan of the neighborhood, they could. So this is the entire report. But I'm going to close out of here right now and show you what happens when you, as the inspector, now get a notification. You'll get an email that they viewed the document. And you'll see here, when I refresh my screen as the inspector, that they have viewed this document. Now I know my customers viewed it. This is not the same thing as receiving a confirmation that they got your email. It's a step further than that. They had to have opened this document on their computer screen so that they could see the document. This is better than an email confirmation, okay? So that is how you upload and distribute your report using HomeGage services, and that is how your customer accesses the report and how you get a confirmation.